Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Thank you everyone for joining me. I'm going to be talking about a TV show called Lost. So this is a TV show I enjoyed, although I think it lost steam in the later seasons. It's a really good show. It started in 2004, ended in 2007, had six seasons, created by J.J. Abrams and a couple other people. The cast is numerous. Talented individuals everywhere. Great performances. Great mystery. A little bit offbeat here and there. A little jarring in the way it would pull you in and out. On purpose, possibly. There are things like a flash forward, flash back type elements of the show, some really deep, meaningful things, and sometimes it gets a little jumbled. I wouldn't put this in my great category for favorite shows that I keep going back and I binge watch, although I might go back and watch like a season three and four of Lost, things like that. I don't think the ending is as bad as people make it out to be. Although, I get it. You love a show. And I won't give plot reveals and major spoilers or anything like that. But the show's been out a while, so I'll talk about a couple of things. But the ending got a little bit more attention because I believe numerous times J.J. Abrams lied. And what I mean by that is the show was a water cooler show. People talked about it. The elements of greatness are there. Like I said, it's a fun show for me. And there were forums, I'm sure fan fiction, people coming up their own explanations for all the mysteries that were going on, possible love interests, and that whole thing. It had a real big fan base. And a lot of the themes that they were hinting on, or what they thought would be the underlying meaning of the show... J.J. even said no numerous times that that wasn't the case. So, possibly the ending is too much for certain fans. I get it. Me, it doesn't bother me too much. I believe in the creative experience letting, you know, the writers and the creators, you know, tell their story. But unlike a show like Battlestar Galactica, you might not agree with the ending, but you definitely agree that the journey was worth it. I think maybe Lost, the ending for people, makes the journey not worth it. I think that's the element here that kind of gets on fans like who really loved the show, had an idea what was going on, was still there for the ride. Then the creator is saying, no, that's not what's going on. Let's, you know, there are other possibilities. I'm not sure exactly what was said. And then the ending comes and it's exactly what people thought. And I don't know, maybe at a point in the show, if you would have thought that, you might have bailed out and said, you know what, I'm not going to buy this tactic that you're using. But the show is not perfect. It, the performances and the elements later in the seasons kind of waned for me. They get a little muddled in what they're doing. Uh, Season's beginning. You have to catch up. I think it's one of those shows, if you miss an episode, you might be lost. Uh Definitely a recommendation. I won't binge watch season one through six at a pop, but I might watch a season or two, especially in these times. The elements are there. I could see why people will say and critics say it's one of the greatest shows ever. I, I agree. And in that sense, it had a big impact on television. And I think the performances, I, I'm not even sure if the show won a lot of awards, but I wouldn't be surprised. And for me, I get the, um, the premise of, from the beginning didn't get me right away. So I think to explain it would be, I didn't get hooked from the beginning and stay with it. I kind of was interested in the beginning. 
didn't ha- didn't know about the buzz about the show and then kind of waned, you know, moved away from the show and then got aware of it again. Maybe people who were really invested and were following it as it progressed, because I did catch back on before it ended. So I was in the last couple of seasons to the end, and that's kind of where my issues lie. But I don't think it lowers the show. I don't think it makes it a bad experience, although I do respect people's opinion on that. Hey, you know, you love a show, you invested in it. It's not what you thought it would be, or it's what you thought it would be, but the creator was saying no, and then it was. Could that be an element that really makes people not enjoy the show? I guess so. I think a lot of people came from this show and had success from it. So in that case, it's a win. Um, There are really kind of spooky elements in the show that worked well. Some were just like, can this be even possible? Like, so it, it had fun and elements in it. And I think it's definitely worth the journey for me. Although I just don't put it up there as one of those shows that enthralls me and really, you know, sucks me in and immerses me. Definitely an enjoyable, good show. I recognize it's a critical acclaim. The fans love for it. I'm kind of one of them in that sense. It made people aware of certain actors and elements that are new in television. Some of the people are pretty popular today. I guess it's an all in all, I think it's a, you know, it's a time in history. It'll have its place. It will have a big, huge cult following. I think it might have, see, I don't know if it'll have the charm of like a Twin Peaks on how maybe a bigger audience, obviously, and a wider appeal, but I'm going to do a podcast on Twin Peaks. That's definitely what I'm going to have on my list. In any case, watch Lost. Really good show. You might get a little confused if you miss things, so pay attention in that way. But it's fun, a little spooky, uh, you know, a survival type thing. And then there's a real reveal that I think blew up a little too much for But hey, fans love a show, you're invested in it, you have every right to be upset. So, take a risk if you want, Uh, I think it's worth it, good show. I hope everybody's doing well, I'll talk to everybody soon.